The data on smoldering myeloma is also certainly an area where there's a lot of uh, new research and, and uh, in, insight into how to approach this. Um, there recently was a paper published by Dr. Gobriel and her colleagues that uh, demonstrated and confirmed some earlier findings uh, that there were subsets of patients that might have a higher risk of progression uh, uh, to symptomatic myeloma based on some genetic or genomic components. I think understanding that in the context of how single-agent lenalidomide or Lendex from the Spanish group or lendex Dara from the ECOG current trial, uh, I think is really important to understand. There were also trials that evaluated much more aggressive treatment for these patients. Uh, the Spanish group has done a trial looking at KRD followed by transplant, followed by KRD, followed by lenalidomide maintenance for all a defined period of time. And what they identified was a very high MRD negative rate, but they also determined that the progression-free survival at three years looks almost identical to the trial I published last year using just Lendex alone. 91% at three years had not progressed to symptomatic myeloma. And so I think that the more is better approach is interesting, but it needs to be tested with longer follow-up before we replace the idea of low intensity immune-directed therapy as the standard approach for these high-risk patients.